We're gonna do upper body. So get your weights out. If you have bands, get those out too, just in case you wanna use those as an alternative. Um, or if you don't have weights and all you have is bands, of course, get those. But I would like to try and show you the different ways that you can work the same muscle group um, and how you can do biceps with dumbbells, how you can do them with the bands, um, just to give you some options. I don't expect everybody to have all the equipment that I have, but um, I think an essential kit for sure would be at least one, if not two sets of dumbbells um, and then a uh, stretchy band and then some other things too, but I've got all that in a list. Um, so we're gonna do plank today. We're up to two minutes. Uh, tomorrow will be two minutes and 15, but the challenge the whole month of June is about the core, strengthening your core. So this week it's all plank stuff. Next week we'll be doing a different exercise and you'll just have to show up on Monday to find out what that is. Um, so for the plank, you'll want either um, a yoga mat, a Pilates mat, or just have a towel down here that's folded up to make it more comfortable. And then if you've got gloves, get those on. I'm going to, I don't know if y'all can see it. I got my little uh, speaker right up there <laughs> hanging from the ceiling fan. You should see how I have this place rigged. It is completely rigged. Wires and cables and lights and extension cords and little tripod dealies. So, let's see. Woohoo, we have eight. Man, y'all just jump in there quick. All right, one more little tip here. Let's say you don't have weights. You can use soup cans. These are actually uh, not quite a pound. Somebody gave these to me, I guess in case I got really hungry. But for now, I'm just saving it for that rainy day. Probably will use it as a base or something. I don't normally eat chicken noodle soup, but sometimes it can be a great base and then you add in all kinds of good healthy produce and good lean protein, but it can also be dumbbells. So if you don't have any, go grab some cans. And I think it is about time to get started, yes. So we're gonna start with plank. It's a two minute plank. You have three ways to do it. Option one is a bent knee plank. Option two, you can tuck the toes under and just go to straight legs. And then if you get tired, you can just drop the knees down and rest a second and then come back to straight legs. And then of course, option three is all the way straight legs the whole time and then maybe adding a little bit of um, leg movement. So let's get started. It's gonna be a two minute elbow plank. On your marks, get set. Inhale, breath through the nose. Exhale and let's straighten those legs out if you're going into straight leg plank. We are planking now. So the demo is over. We're all planking. So nice straight body line from the crown of your head all the way down to your heels. Think about drawing those belly muscles up and in towards your spine, but at the same time, flex your buttocks. Kind of spin that tailbone downwards. You want to look maybe about a foot out in front of your hands here. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, squeeze tight, flexing all the muscles literally from your upper body down to the toes. So one option, if you are in the straight leg version, is to shift the weight forward. So we would inhale, the chin comes right over the fists, and then exhale, breath, push your heels back, squeeze your glutes. Do it again, inhale, push forwards. Exhale, breath, push those heels back. And then once more, inhale, breath, push forwards. And then exhale, push back. So here's another option if you need to take a break. Just drop to your knees and then come right back up. And we have about 45 seconds left. Inhale, right leg goes up. So now if you're on your knees, you can do it as well with the knee down or the leg straight. Now kick your leg out to the side. Kick it back. Set it down. Inhale, left leg up. Kick to the side. 
Inhale, straight back. Exhale, down. Let's do that one more time on each leg. Almost done. Hang in there. Inhale, breath, right leg up. Exhale, kick to the side. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, down. Now, last time, 10 seconds. Come on, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, kick it to the side. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, set it down, and you're done. Woohoo! Push those hips back. Take it into an extended child's pose stretch. Just breathe. Inhale. And then exhale it out. All righty, lift the head up. And toss that aside. And then let's come up to a stand. Bring your feet out a little wider than the hips. Shoulders roll around to the back here. So we're gonna do a little more upper body warming up before we go into our exercises. Shoulders roll forwards. Let's add a little down and up. Hips lift up. Now let's straighten those arms out. Palms are up, thumbs to the back. Now reverse the circle, go the other way. Just circling around and around here. Bring the arms around more to the front. The palms are still lifted up here. Good, now flip those palms over. Thumbs are pointing downwards like that. Up and around, just little circles. Warming up that shoulder socket. Four, three, Two, now lunge it right and left. You're gonna reach over the head here. Nice long side body stretch. And we're gonna do some more core work towards the end. Kind of including that in that upper body. Reach across the front, corner to corner. Brace with your abdominals here. Four, three, two. Good, now drop those hips. You're gonna swing your arms from right to left here. Drop down a little lower if you can. Brace with the core, draw the abs in. Exhale on the left, exhale right. Now reach across, reach across. Push, push. Go four, three, two, one. Now inhale breath, arms coming up. Exhale out, you're gonna drop left shoulder down, and then the right, two more of those. Left down, right. Inhale, breath, arms up overhead. Exhale, open out. Shoulder drops down, other side. Two more. Now last time for this, here we go. Inhale up. Exhale out, shoulder drops. Nice rotation here through the upper torso. Good. Walk your feet all the way together here. Good, now just shoulders roll around again to the back. Now we're gonna swing those arms all the way up and then all the way back here. So from the side, inhale, breath up. Exhale, swing back. One more, slowly. Let's go a little faster right here. Swing it up, drop back and up and drop back. Inhale, exhale it. Four, three, big sweeping arms, stretch it out. Good, bicep curl and extend. Curl and straighten, bring it up, drop it down, curl it up, drop it down for two more. One more, good job. Now just make a fist and spread it out. Squeeze and release out. Four, three, two, one, shake it out. All right, so grab your lightest weights. If you do have a set, we're gonna do some shoulders. Starting with side lateral raises. So be careful that you don't go up any higher than shoulder level. You start to kind of pinch stuff in there and we don't wanna pinch. So feet about, hip width apart, elbows into the waist, hands face each other, let's go. You lift up, drop and lift. So I'm just, Doing a little BB baby baby squat. BB baby squat. 
Just something to keep the blood flowing, keep that circulation moving. Plus, I just like to do a little squat. I don't want to just stand there totally still, being inactive with half the body. Let's go eight more reps. Come on. Seven. Six. Elbows are bent about a right angle. Four more. Three. Two. And one. It's a front raise, and the arms are going to go right here, and then they're going to lower down. So it's slow to start with, and when the arms lift, it's a little drop in the hips there, and then stand on up. So we inhale, then we exhale. And just stop again, shoulder level, do not go any higher. Let's do eight reps quickly, right here, down up eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three. Last two. Little change, same thing, but we're gonna lift our thumbs up like that. So there's a little change in the arm and hand position. So slowly up we go, slowly down we go. Arms up to shoulder level and release. Good, let's do one more slowly. And give me eight repetitions quickly. Go down, up eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two. Now it's an overhead press slowly. So we're going to drop down for two. We're going to straighten those arms all the way up for two. So inhale, down, down. Exhale, press straight up over the head. Drop it down. Extend all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. So full extension in the elbows. Make sure those hands are right over your shoulders there at the top. Inhale, down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go one more slowly. Now give me eight repetitions quickly. Drop it down, up eight, seven, six, four more, three, two, and one. All right, so last shoulder exercise. This is a rear delt, work on the back side. So hands behind you, bend the knees, hinge at the hips. Let's slowly first lift those arms straight up and back. So stop right before you crash into your thighs. Don't do that. So you want to stop just before you touch. So you keep tension on those shoulder muscles and back. Open the chest up here. Do two more slowly. Let's go faster. Now push, push, small and tight up there. Working in that higher range of motion. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now just a big shoulder roll down, up, and around. Just relax, let it go, shake it off. Two more. One more. All right. Alternate hammer curls. Let's just get right to it. Bring your feet together all the way. Stand tall. So the wrists are locked, the thumbs come right up to the shoulder muscles here. Now add a little heel raise there for each rep if you can. I'm going to do a knee bend and just stay with that just because of my ankle stuff. But you do your heel raises. Go right on ahead. Do some for me. So you curl it, you curl it. Firm those core muscles. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Now both arms up, drop down all the way up, down. And again, heel raises with this if you wish, or I'm just gonna stay here in a little isometric demi squat. Arms come up, lower down, exhale, curl, inhale, drop. So these are light, I know, and your biceps are way stronger than this, so consider it a warm up because we are gonna pick up heavier weights here. In just a moment. Give me four more. It's four, three. Long neck, shoulders down. One more time. Good job. Feet apart. Shoulders roll around. All right. So pick up 
heavier weights. I'm gonna get some eights, so just to give you an idea. But don't, you know, don't base it on what I'm getting. It's your workout, so you decide if you can actually do more or if you wanna go a little lighter. And it's refreshment time for moi. All right, so hammer curls, ready. Feet together, let's go, stand tall. Quickly, we alternate here. So obviously heavier, it's a little harder to control it. Towards the end, it's gonna be harder to get it up there fast. And curl, and curl. Press your shoulders down. Imagine the neck is long. Suction cup on the top of your head, lifting you up to the ceiling here. Let's go, eight, seven. Four, three, two, now double bicep curl. Up, drop, and lift, drop. I'm gonna do the demi squat here. You can heel raise it. Here we go, up and drop. So when you're doing it with the heavier, if you need to, alternate. So go right, go left, and then maybe do four all together. That's just a thing that works for me right here with this weight. But you listen to your body. The goal is to stay moving. Don't quit just because you're tired. Just give it a rest. <laughs> and we curl up and down. Let's go eight more reps. Seven, six, five, four, three. Last two reps. Curl it up, drop it down. Curl it up, drop it down. And then just shoulders, roll up and around. Up and around. All right, kick it out. Just shake your legs. All right, tricep extensions over your head. So you can use these weights together like that, or make an X and then grab the center and then hoist them up over your head there. And then bring your feet together again. Tuck the tail under, firm the glutes, firm the abs. We're gonna drop down and then go up. Inhale, drop. Go up on those toes if you can, right there. Heel raise up. I'm gonna do this. And we go up and down. And we press it up. Inhale, exhale. Keep your elbows high and close together to your head. Don't let them flare open. Down and up we go. Come on. Watch that your back doesn't over arch. You wanna firm those belly muscles. Down up eight. Seven, six, four more, three, two. We're gonna slow it down, so listen up. Two counts to lower down, 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 and then two to get up all the way to the top. Inhale on the down, exhale on the up. Inhale, down, down. Exhale it up to the top, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale down. Can we do four quickly, right here, right now. Finish strong up four. Ah, three, two, one more time. And then bring your dumbbells down, separate, feet apart, and then just a shoulder roll down, up and around to relax, to release all that tension. Even stretching out those traps right here. And around you go, four. Three, two, now listen up. We're gonna do some dumbbell rows. So hang on to these. You might be picking up a heavier set in a moment. But what you wanna do is you wanna bend the knees a tiny bit and then your hip hinging. So you kinda of push your buttocks back and then let the arms hang here. Let's go, pull and then release, pull and then release. Keep your eyes looking out in front. Don't just let your head hang. You want a nice long line from your tailbone up to the crown of your head. Pull, release, pull up and release. So we're working lats, upper back muscles, even your biceps, getting a little workout here as well. Exhale, pull, inhale, reach. So hands are to the knees, right by the waist, to the knees, to the waist, to the knees. Squeeze your elbows in close. Imagine Making a crease in your upper back. Like you're trying to really pull those shoulder blades together, squeezing them in. That's how you activate those muscles. Let's do eight more, come on. Seven, six, 
Four more. Three, you got this. Come on, two more. Listen up, we're gonna hike them up quickly in the upper range for eight reps here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then drop the weights, feet apart, and then just shoulders roll around and around. Nice and loose and relaxed for those. Three, two more, one more. All right. Get some heavier weights for those dumbbell rows. And then we're gonna go back to some triceps, but we're gonna do tricep kickbacks. But let's just finish off these lats with a heavier set if, by chance, you have them. Ugh. Sorry to make that noise, it's just like, ugh, squatting over. <laughs> trying to squat with good form, you know? I'm trying to bend the knees and keep my back straight and keep my head up and all that. I do that because that's good form, but I also don't do it the other way because this microphone is going to fall out. <laughs> All right, so feet hip width apart. Tuck the tail under, shoulders back and down. Now bend the knees a tiny bit, hinge at the hips a tiny bit, let the arms drift forward so they're right here beside the knees. Let's go now. You're going to pull, release, exhale, pull, inhale, drop. <sighs> Keep your eyes looking out there in front, maybe about four feet. Come on, lock those elbows in close to the side body. Eight more reps we go. Seven, six, skip a rep if you need to and then jump back in. Four, three, last two. Now you're gonna hike it up quickly in the upper zone for eight reps in a row and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then just drop those down. Shoulders roll around to the back, up and around. Two more, one more. Shake it out. Swing your arms front to back. All right, so pick up whatever weights you wanna use to do tricep kickbacks. So the trick here is keeping from your shoulder down to the elbow, fixed in space. So you wanna be there, right, with both arms. So oftentimes what happens is this, and then huh, it's called cheat. It's called momentum, no momentum. Lock those elbows in space, let's do it. All right, so you got whatever weights. I got fives here, so maybe threes or fives. You could do eights. But that would be hard. All right, so feet hip width apart, shoulders back and down, slight bend in the knees, and then push your buttocks back, hike your elbows up, long spine. Let's go. Straighten those arms and then you bend. So you're gonna exhale here, inhale, bend, exhale, inhale. So I say keep your elbows right there. I hope I am doing that. Sometimes we think we're doing it right and then we look in a mirror and it's like, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't look at all what I thought I would look like. That's why mirrors are good. If you can have one nearby, if I could see you, I would tell you, but I cannot see you, just in case you're worried. <laughs> Come on, let's do eight more reps right here. Go eight, seven, six, Five, squeeze those triceps tight at the top of the movement there. Last two, last one, good job. And then just shoulders roll up and around. Ah, should feel good. Nice stretch, nice release, relax. All right, so let's get, we're gonna do another set of the, all that shoulder that we did in the beginning that maybe you want a little bit heavier. So normally I would, but um, still kind of babying a shoulder deal. So I'm just gonna stick with my light ones, but this would be your opportunity to go up a little bit in weight. So, get those weights. How we doing? Anybody sweating yet? I know I am, it feels good. Remember, sweat, fat cells are crying. They're being kicked out of your body. 
All right, elbows in right here. Let's go. So it's side lateral raises. Lift up and lower down. Exhale. Inhale. So a little tempo change here. Go up for two counts and then down for two. So lift up and then squeeze down. You're gonna lift, stop right there, and imagine squeezing your elbows down through, I don't know, a bunch of peanut butter all around you. <laughs> Almond butter, squish it out. Lift it up, press it down. Lift it up, squeeze down. Up, down. Good, let's just do two more of those. Take it up. And then lower down, one more time. Take it up and lower down. Now, same tempo, slowly. Up you go, and then lower. Up you go, just to shoulder level, or maybe even a little bit below it. Up. So this first set, palms are slightly facing down, right? And drop those hips a little bit. Stand it up tall. Drop the hips a little bit. Stand it up. Good job. Nice, strong shoulders. Eight reps quickly. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. Four, three, two, one. Now bring the dumbbells right here beside your ears, feet apart a little bit. You're going to lower down. You're going to straighten all the way up over the head. So inhale, drop. Exhale, press up tall. So we drop down a little bit. It's not a major squat, just a little bend in the knees here. And then all the way up. So when your arms are straight, hands should be directly over the shoulders. Inhale, down, down. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, down. Let's do eight repetitions quickly. Down, up we go, eight, seven. Last four reps, let's go. Three, two, and one. Good, bring the dumbbells here. Lower down. One big giant shoulder roll to the back. All right, so last shoulder exercise. Rear delts, bend the knees, hip hinge. Bring the hands behind you here. Long neck, keep your head lifted. Go up, drop. Exhale, lift, inhale, drop. So when you're doing this, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Kind of push that chest out a bit there. Roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders back. Good, four more, come on. Three, two. Can you do this? Double time tempo, quickly. Up eight reps, go. Seven, you got this. Four, three, two. Hold it up on one. And then drop it down, up and around. Shoulders roll around. All right, shake it out. All right, let's do some biceps. So, a little bit heavier weight. I'm gonna go with my tans. So whatever you wanna try to do. So we're gonna do a set of hammer curls first, and then we'll just go to this position here. But we're gonna go slowly, ready? Right arm comes up, left arm comes up. So stand with your feet together, head up. Tuck the tail under, you can do that little heel race here. Ow, and up. <laughs> And curl, and curl. Lift it up. Make sure that you're not hurling it, not like swinging it back and getting all that momentum. That would be called cheating. So just do your best to let it be pure muscle contraction that lifts that dumbbell up to here. Here we go, last four, three, Two more. Then we're gonna do both together. Here we go, drop it down, curl it up. Ah, curl it up, drop it down, curl it up. Four more. Three, two. Let's go slow on the down part. Two counts to drop, two counts to curl it up. Three more, come on, curl it up. Make sure your arms get all the way straight right here at the bottom. Then you curl it up. Just one more. Good job, curl it up. All right. Ah. Woo -hoo. Let's 
gets your heart rate up. So don't let anybody tell you that just because you're not doing traditional cardio, that you're not benefiting your cardiovascular system because you are when you're doing weight training, particularly like this where we move and move and move. And that's why I like to add a little bit of leg stuff in there just to keep heart rate up a little higher. Woohoo! All right, we're gonna do over the head tricep extensions. So not as many. So find the heavy, heavy weight that you wanna use. We're gonna start with those and then we'll pick up lighter and go there. And then we'll do our dumbbell rows. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I know, so hard to choose. So many weights, so many decisions. So if you were to use one, you can hold it. I didn't know if you can see. So you can hold it kind of like that. You gotta hold it well. You don't wanna drop that thing over your head. <laughs> or you can hold it like that and then hoist it up here and then drop it down behind the head, but keep your elbows in. So this is the tendency is to just kind of get lazy and let them flop out. So draw those elbows in and keep them pointed straight up, heads up. Let's go. We're gonna slowly go up for two. We're gonna go down for two and then exhale, press up. Inhale, drop down. So I'm just doing a little demi squat here and then extending the knees and the hips. You can do your heel raises if you want on this one. Lower down, exhale it up. Inhale down, exhale it up. Inhale down, down, <clears throat> press it up. Inhale down, exhale up. Can we do eight quickly? Let's go up at maybe just a halfway down, halfway or three quarters, drop, press it up. Drop, let's go, four more, come on. Three, two, one more. Good job, now just bring it over your head. Slowly lower down, shoulders roll around. And then find what heavy weights you wanna to use to do tricep kickbacks. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do eights, yeah. So, shoulders back. Feet hip width apart. Same setup. So a little bend in the knees, a little hip hinge. Hike your elbows up. Let's go. You're going to straighten and then bend. Keep those elbows up high. Don't let them swing down and then drive up. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, now, can you go a little faster? Just little tiny presses up at the high of your range for four, three, two, one, and then roll it around. Roll it around and around. So that's really getting the triceps, but it's also an isometric contraction for all those muscles on the back side because you're having to hold yourself, right, in that position. You're trying to not let your shoulders collapse in, so all those muscles on the back side, the postural muscles, they're having to contract to kind of hold you there. All right, swing your arms out. All right, sip of water, and then we're gonna do dumbbell rows. All right, so you ready? By the way, when you're lifting weights, there's talk about how long should you rest in between. But as far as what we're doing, 30 seconds max, maybe a minute, but it's just the heavier the weight gets and the less reps you're able to do, that rest interval increases. So like if you were doing a one rep max, which we're never gonna do in here, probably, you would need maybe two or three minutes to rest. Okay, so feet hip width apart, slight bend in the knees, hip hinge, let your arms come here, but don't round. Come on, pull the shoulders back. Let's go, pull back and release. Exhale, inhale, pull back and reach down, pull. So the hands are coming right to the mid waist and then 
right there to the knees. Pull it up. Let's go four more, come on. Three, two. You're gonna hike it up quickly for eight reps, go. Eight, come on, seven, six. Higher range of motion there, four more. Three, two, one, and then just drop down, up, and around. Hi, yi, yi. All right, kick it out. Shake it out, shake it out. All right. Swing, 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 swing. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, so I wanna show you, I know not everybody has these, but these are the bands that require a door anchor. So it just goes over the top of the door or maybe kind of on the hinge side, you know, at any point really along the way from top to bottom. So this is up high, which allows me to use them to do tricep extensions. So if you have this, we'll do this. If you don't have this, pick up your dumbbells. We're gonna be doing the same movement, really. You're gonna be doing tricep kickbacks with the dumbbells. I'm just gonna do it with the bands. So are you ready? Two sets of eight, set it up. So elbows are in close, knees are bent, same setup, hinge at the hips. Let's go, you're gonna push your arms. Straight back and then bend, push. Exhale, push. Inhale, bend. Here we go. Eight more reps. Squeeze back tight. Four more times. Push back four. Three. Two. One more time. Good job. And then just release. And of course, these come in different colors, indicating the resistance level. So this one is a medium, probably could have done more, but mainly just wanted to show you how that works. Okay, so set your dumbbells down. Next, we're gonna do dumbbell rows. I know we just did them, but I just wanna show you how to do it with this band. So if you've got the band, it's low. If you've got weights, hold them here. So I've got this attached down, oh, I don't know, maybe about 10 inches above floor level. And it's, you know, on the hinge side of the door here is where I've got that loop through. And then I just put a towel through it. Kind of, I did my own homemade um, <clears throat> door anchor. All right, so we're gonna look a little different in terms of body position. You're gonna be a little bit more over here. I'm gonna be more up here. So set yourself up to do your dumbbell rows. I'm gonna be right here with you on your marks. Get set. Here we go. Pull those dumbbells up and then release. Exhale, inhale, and you pull back and you release. So I'm squeezing the upper back muscles, trying to keep my neck long, shoulders down. I'm squeezing the hands in tight around the ribs, eight more reps, go, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, now can you hike them up quickly in the higher range, eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then release, ha, you can drop your weights, drop your band, and swing the arms out. Okay, one more. So, bicep curls. I'm gonna show you two ways to do them. And so these are flat spry bands. They're called spry bands. They're just flat Dyna bands. And typically they come in a giant roll and you can just roll it out and cut whatever length you want. This is a little short, but it would work for one arm bicep curl. So you would just step on one end here and then the other hand grabs it and you're just doing your bicep curls here. Of course, if you've got a super long one or you could come down on your knee and then you could just bicep curl and then release. So let's do two sets of eight bicep curls. 
So either pick up your weights, or if you have a band, you're gonna be with moi. I'm gonna just turn a little bit here from the side. Maybe you can see better on your marks. Let's get set, go, curl it up and release. Exhale, curl, inhale, drop. Come on, eight more to go. Let's finish strong. Squeeze the bicep muscles. Put all your focus with your mind right into that muscle. Make it tight, make it pop. Make it strong, last four, come on. Three, you got this. Two more. One more time. Good, and then just let go. So that is one way to do with the band. I'm gonna show you one more, just real quick. I know not, probably nobody has these, but um, still I wanna show you. So this is a monster band. It's like a really, really thick, almost like a fan belt. Super long. They too come in different colors, representing different resistance levels. So I'm gonna step inside here. Then I'm gonna take a stick or a dowel or you could use a PVC pipe, whatever, and just sort of twirl it around. And then I'm gonna hold here. So it's like I've got a barbell and I'm pulling up, pulling up. Could also be like you're at the cable crossover area at the gym and you're just pulling from the lower pulley down there, and there's all kinds of implements you can attach. You know, a rope, a curl bar, a straight bar, V-bar. I just have a straight bar, so let's go eight more, come on. And six, five. I could make it harder by doing a wider stance. Three, two, one. All right, so that's how you would do it with that. Trust me, there are just endless possibilities with this setup deal here. I love these monster bands. You can do legs, arms, you know, they have door anchors for these as well. So that's a good one. All right, so swing it out. We're gonna go to the floor here in a sec and do some chest. So we're gonna do some push-ups. Or how about you're gonna do push-ups? I might just cue you through them. Um, I would be walking around watching you if I could. And then we're gonna flip over onto the back and do some chest uh, presses with the dumbbells. So have your dumbbells nearby for that. Go ahead and get either your yoga mat or your towel or whatever you've got to come down onto. I know some of you are on hard floor just with your mat. So make sure you've got protection for your knees. All right, so we're gonna come. Yeah. All right, so come down into a tabletop position. So you're on your hands and your knees. Quickly, let's just inhale, belly drops, head up, shoulders back. Exhale, round, draw the belly in. This should feel wonderful across that lower back. Tuck your chin down. Once again, inhale, breath, let the belly drop, head up. And then exhale, breath, round your spine. Inhale, belly drops, head up. And then last time, exhale, round it, pull the navel to spine, spread your shoulder blades apart. All right, so for the push-ups, I'm gonna show you three different levels. So level one, your hips are just a little bit forwards. Hands a little wider than shoulders, so just maybe the outer edges of your mat. Imagine your nose making a triangle here. So don't, don't drop there. I see this a whole lot. Not get on the shoulders. So you do want your nose to be in front of your fingertips. So that would be level one, kind of keeping the hips up, maybe not going all the way down and then up. So I will probably choose that just because of my shoulder stuff. If you're able to, come further forwards and then you're gonna let the whole body come down. And then push up. That's level two. And then level three, of course, if you really wanna do some major chest work, you do straight leg version. So we're gonna do one set of eight slow, one set fast on your marks. Get in position, get set. Here we go, it's two counts to lower down and then two counts to press up. Make sure your head is not just relaxed, long neck. You wanna keep your eyes looking out in front of the edge of the mat there. Inhale down. Exhale up. 
So you got to modify for your body where you are at this stage in your life, whether it's an injury, age, fitness, strength, whatever the problem. Let's go eight fast now. Inhale down, exhale, press. Inhale, exhale, and drop it down. Press it up. Four more. Three. Last two. One more time. And you're gonna push all the way back into an extended child's pose stretch. So drop the hips back, drop your head down to the mat. Big inhale, breath through the nose. And then exhale it out. All right, come on up and you're gonna flip over, grab your dumbbells, dumbbell presses. I'm gonna pick fives, but you know, your chest muscles are really strong, so you can probably do a good bit more. But again, you just listen to your body and do what you're able to. You know, as time goes on, you wanna learn your body and know what you're able to do and not, um, you know, just always, always guessing. So bring the dumbbells right here. Inhale, breath, sit tall. Exhale, breath, tuck your chin around the back. Come all the way down and then walk your feet in. Shoulders down, head down. Push the arms straight up over your chest. Now, right away, draw that belly down and in. So I know some of you might be turning your head like this just to see the first one, but once you see it, if you need to see it, turn your head back up so you're not cranking your neck. So you're gonna inhale down for two and then exhale, press up. That's all it is. So inhale lower, exhale, press up. Imagine, if you will, a Christmas tree right on top of your chest and your thumbs are just kind of outlining the edge of the tree, down wide and then narrow at the top where the star is or the angel. <laughs> Press it up. Every time you're exhaling, I want you to draw, navel to spine. Try to imprint that spine into the mat as you exhale and press up. Inhale down. Exhale, press up. From the belly, let it be a little abdominal workout as well right here. Inhale. Exhale, one more fast and then we're gonna go slower, listen up. Three counts to come down. It's one and two and three. Press up quickly on four. Do it again. Inhale, 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 inhale. Exhale, press it up. Inhale. Exhale. Every time the hands come together at the top, turn them to face each other. And give those chest muscles a good squeeze. It's like you're trying to make cleavage right there. Inhale. Exhale, one more like that. Inhale down. Good, now two counts down, two up. Just four of these, and then we're done. Press it up. Inhale, drop. Exhale, press. Inhale, drop. Exhale, press. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, press. Good job, now bend your elbows right beside your waist, and then just let the weights go. Let them go. Stretch your legs out long, stretch the arms over your head. Full body stretch here, inhale. And exhale it out. All right, bring the knees into the chest. Make a tight little ball. Rock it side to side, back and forth. And then you're gonna rock and roll up to a sit. We're gonna do two ab exercises. So one is side plank, and then the other is another oblique exercise that we'll come back down onto our back and do. I'm gonna scoot my mat just a little bit away so I don't kick my own wall. So come onto your right side. Elbow here, right under your shoulder. Feet behind you. So if you're to look down, it goes knees, hips, shoulders, ears. This hand can help a little bit here in the beginning. So take an inhale. On the exhale, push down and lift your hips up. Right away, take your hand and just see if you can feel that those muscles are indeed tight and contracting. So this is level one. All we're gonna do is just drop down a little bit and then lift, drop a little bit and lift. That's level one. Level two, both legs are straight. Bring your top foot in front. So you're just kind of balancing on the inner and outer edges of your shoes. Same deal, drop halfway and then lift. So are y'all ready? We're gonna do two sets of eight. Here we go, let's drop down, press up. Inhale, drop, exhale, press it up. Lower, lift, feel those obliques tight right there. Come 
Come on, let's go. Four more. Three, two, hold it up here. Can you reach this arm up and over and push your hips up higher, higher, higher? Can you float your left leg up and balance? And then drop your foot down and then drop the hips. Split your knees apart like that. And then come on up, inhale, right arm reaches over the head. Exhale, take a little lean this way. You could grab your wrist and then just pull to make a deeper stretch. All right, drop those arms down, shoulders roll around. Swing your legs over here to the right. So same deal. Prop up on your left elbow. It should be right underneath your shoulder. Don't be too far back here. It just puts too much stress on your shoulder. So make sure you're kind of positioned directly over. And then feet off the mat behind you there. Straight line from knees, hips, shoulders, ears. This hand is a little help if you need it. So level one is here. We're just gonna drop a little bit and then lift up. Drop a little and then lift. Level one. Level two, straighten your legs out. So top leg comes in front and the underneath leg slightly back. And you drop and lift a little bit here. Ready, go, two sets of eight. Drop down up, inhale, exhale. Let's go, down up, eight more. If you need to use your hand, go right ahead. Do what you can to finish strong. Almost done. Let's go. Last four. Exhale on the up. Inhale. Exhale. Now hold it up here. Reach the right arm up and then go over. And then option. Whoa, stretch that leg up and hold. And then drop it down. And then drop your hips. And then split your legs apart. Push yourself up. Inhale. Take this arm up. And then exhale a little side lean over to your right. If you want, grab the wrist and give it a little pull up high. Not just yanking down, but pulling up that direction. So you really lengthen from the hip up to the shoulder. Good, open the arms out. Shoulders roll around. Come down onto your back. So you can start right up here, hands underneath. And then just lower slowly, slowly down. So what you want to be able to do is stretch your arms out straight. So maybe for the first rep or two, you're gonna, I'm just hoping that you can still see me down here. It freaks me out because when I look at my camera phone, I'm like completely gone. I'm not even in there. But then I go back and watch it live and it's like, yep, I'm there. All right, so knees are gonna be right over your hips, shins parallel. You're gonna inhale, lower halfway to the left. Take your right arm up. So you're lifting your body up and you're gonna to touch the outside of your right foot. And then you're gonna come back down and then you're gonna bring the knees up. Now let's go to the other side. So inhale, breath, halfway over to the right. And then exhale, breath. You're gonna lift this whole left shoulder blade up off the floor, touch the ankle. Drop it down. Inhale, lower to the left. Exhale, reach up and across. You're gonna feel right obliques big time there. And then you lower back down. And we inhale, drop halfway to the right. Exhale, lift up and touch. Lower back down. So bent knee is easier. We'll do one more on each side with bent knees. And then I'm gonna show you how to make it a little harder. And then we drop back down. And then you lower your knees to the right halfway. And you're gonna reach up and touch the outside left ankle. Come back down. Straighten your legs out now. If you can, if it hurts your back, do not do it, bend your knees. But if you're able to, straighten the legs out. So we're gonna lower halfway over to the left. Exhale, breath. You're gonna peel your upper spine off the floor and that right shoulder's off the floor. I'm touching my right ankle. And then I lower back down. And then I just bring my legs straight across and halfway over to the right, inhale. Exhale, reach up and touch. And then inhale. Exhale, back to center. One more each side, let's go. Inhale, lower halfway over to the left side. Exhale, reach up and touch. Inhale, back. Exhale, legs up to the center. Last one this way, inhale, halfway over to the right side. 
Exhale, lift up and touch. Inhale. Exhale, legs straight up. And then just set the feet down. Stretch your legs out. And then circle the arms over your head. Full body stretch here, inhale. And then exhale, relax. Good, now bring the knees into the chest. So just grab underneath one at a time and sort of rock side to side, back and forth. And then bring the knees and feet together and it's like you're trying to push your legs that way but the hands are connected back there. So it stretches your upper back and your neck as you drop your chin down. And then just rock and roll a little bit from front to back here. And then roll all the way up to a sit. And then place the hands behind you here. I'll kind of face this way. So this is just a chest and shoulder stretch. So you're gonna walk, 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 fingers back this way. And if you've ever seen swimmers, <clears throat> like serious swimmers, they have a ridiculous amount of flexibility in their shoulders. If you just think about like the butterfly stroke or all the strokes. They need an incredible amount of flexibility. So they're back here, but their fingers are touching actually back behind there. I'm not saying we gotta go for that, but that's just a, an example of super, super flexibility. All right, walk in. Good, and then let's just come up to a stand. I'm gonna do a couple upper body stretches from a stand position. So however you wanna get up, I like to come up on my knees and then I like to put one foot there, tuck the toes under and back and then push up. All right, so for your shoulder muscles, let's do the one arm across the chest, hook underneath and then pull that shoulder into a nice stretch. Now, the tendency is to be up here real high. Drop your shoulder down as you pull this right into the chest. And I'm just gonna rotate your wrist around. Okay, let's take it into a tricep stretch. So touch just below the neck there and then reach up and grab your elbow. Push the arm back behind. Now, if you don't like that, let me show you how to do it against the wall. You would just perk your elbow up and then lean in to the wall like that and let the wall do the work for you. Right arm, pull it across, shoulder drops down. Circle your wrist around. Gonna take this arm up, bend the elbow and then push your elbow back. And then once again, against the wall, it would look like, you know, you just park your elbow up on the wall and as you lean into it, it's not only stretching your triceps, but you're getting a wonderful stretch in the lats, even into that lateral torso. Good, and then one more stretch for the chest. Interlace the fingers behind, and as you straighten the arms out, try to push them away. Lift the head up a bit, inhale as you reach back. And then exhale, release. And then again, the wall stretch for the chest, you would just perk your elbow and hand up and then kind of step forwards and then rotate your torso away from where the um, arm is up against the wall. And that's another way to just really get a wonderful stretch one at a time, of course. And then same thing over here. I got to do the other side since I showed you on the one. I don't want to be lopsided. <laughs> All right, we are done, yay. Good job, I hope your arms just feel wonderfully strong. We need strong arms as we age. Don't worry about building bulky, gross muscles. I know a lot of women do, but you know, we need to have strong upper body because you know, we still have to, I, I know I have really benefited from having strength just because I have to do a lot of stuff myself around the house and like pulling the, the worst is pulling that lawnmower cord. I just, it's like, I don't know how anybody can do it if they don't have some sort of strength and maybe now they just have a push button. Maybe I'll get one of those one day. But anyhow, hope you all have a great day. Tomorrow I will be stretching with a stretch out strap. Uh, let me find my strap here. Yeah, stretch out strap. And then also foam rolling. So if you don't have a foam roller, I do know, I thought about it this morning at five and below, they have those. 
um, if they're even open. I don't know. <clears throat> I know Walmart is. They've got them. Um, so you could just go get yourself a cheap one to start with. And if you find you really like it, which I think you will, nobody's ever not liked it. I mean, it is a little painful, but it's helping to smash out some of that tenderness and soreness in the muscles and any, you know, scar tissue or just muscles that are in lockdown mode and just stuck to that fascia. So I'm going to be doing it. I'll just warn you. I'm going to be doing it from Stretch Lab. So Stretch Lab is my other one job. Thank God for Stretch Lab. It saved me. Um, that's up in South Lake. So because of a work schedule thing, they're going to allow me to film my live stream thing up there. Um, so it'll just look a little bit different and that's where I'll be, but it, it's going to be the same. You know, we're going to just, it's going to be me <laughs> and we'll do our 50 minutes. And um, yeah, so that's tomorrow. And I uh, hope you had uh, a great day yesterday with your fruits and veggies. I did strawberries and blueberries, both organic, and I did organic broccoli with pesto sauce on it. Oh my goodness, that is the best. So message in here for not just me, but for everybody to see. I think it's fun if we share, you know, what you ate or, you know, something that's new that you've discovered. And if you have any questions, you can always message me. I do go back after this and look at all the questions that are in there <clears throat> and try to respond or just, you know, push like if he said good morning, because I can't do all that, you know, when it's live, because um, all I can see is how many are in there. And right now I see 12. Hi. <laughs> Hi, 12 people. So have a great day and I'll see you in the morning.